Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokestop, your one-stop shop for all your Pokemon needs. You guys ready for some crazy stories? I know I am. Oh, crazy stories. It's time for some sh stories. Some crazy stories. No, wait, that's some crazy enough. Let's get to the stories. All right. In Central Park, a Pokemon goer got mugged just while playing Pokemon Go. He was, he was walking down the street streaming, and then he just gets sucker punched and gets all of his junk stolen. The guy steals his camera, steals his phone. He stole everything. I saw the footage. It was insane. Like, the, he was just walking. He's just like, yeah, yeah, guys, canting Pokemon. And then the and dude just like, wham, pop! pops him. Super effective. So make sure you're aware of your surroundings and don't get mugged. Super effective. So this is a little bit of an older story, but a 19 year old in Australia ran into a school. Luckily, no one was hurt. Thank goodness. But apparently he lost control after he was trying to capture a Pokemon and went, <laughs> skirt, skirt. Hey, hey, skirt, skirt. And crashed right into the school. I feel like a school's not even that close to the road. Like you have to go, go off. off and then be off the road for like probably a good 10 seconds before you hit a school. I can imagine his car was just going. <laughs> and he's and just he's like, like, oh, ah, I'm, I'm gonna get ah, him. Ah, I can't, I can't do the curveball. I can't do the curveball. <laughs> and he didn't catch the Pokemon. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Yeah, no one should ever get hurt while playing Pokemon Go, so don't drive and play it. Don't be dumb. Don't crash into a school. New studies indicate that Pokemon Go is actually very hazardous to young drivers. Hazardous? What? Yes. No way. Washington State Patrol urges all drivers of all ages to stop using Pokemon Go while driving or any other apps while you drive. Guys, two hands on the wheel. It's just common sense. Right? Okay, so these researchers went and like scavenged Twitter, got all that information, put it in like what researchers do and researched. Research, not like us. Yeah. Research, not like us. Yeah. Not like us. They found that over 114,000 people tweeted things correlating with distraction with Pokemon Go. Dude, that's so many tweets. That's a lot of people. That included drivers, passengers, and people walking and getting hit by cars. Pedestrians getting hit by cars? But does it tell, like, who is it? Like, hey, I just hit a pedestrian because I was driving, you know, playing Pokemon Go. It doesn't specify, doesn't but... doesn't specify. That's a lot of numbers. But that's, that's a lot of tweets. I'm not a scientist, but that's a big number. <laughs> well, guys, that concludes this episode of Pokestop Crazy no Stories and News. And it was pretty crazy. It was, not it was very crazy. Right? I had a great time. I'm glad you had a great time. I had a great time. We'll catch y'all later.